is Brooke Drum from PrinterBot, and we're finishing up the LC build. So this is the PrinterBot LC. Now we've assembled the bridge, and uh, you can see it here. But I'm going to go ahead and take off these. Pull those nuts off. Yeah, and these guys are going to come with it, or they'll fall off. So you can see what's left and we tightened up everything over on this side this is really all you missed in the end of the last one so now we've got uh, two final things to do um, you know before we do wiring and stuff so uh, let's start with this so this is going to be the X carriage and this guy is really uh, this is a cool part. One seventy three goes into one seventy two, and then this is the part I was. Okay, so uh, this one with the hole. Notice this doesn't have the hole. It's going to be sliding back and forth like this, and you want the screw to go in and be adjustable on the end stop that you'll see here which we just as an example we got one on there so uh, as you face the front uh, it needs to be on the right okay so we gotta get um, gotta get these guys in here and they're going to slot in these uh, extensions here are going to slot in, I mean go to that slot so we got to put them on first now you can press them on with your hand or you can use a fancy tool this is easier on your hands <laughs> You don't need a tool like this. I'll show you how you can snap these on with your hand. Just get one side started and push. Sometimes I get my finger pinched in between there though. There we go. These should uh, move pretty freely. So, I'm sorry, I said in the slots, but the slots are on the side here. So you kind of got to position these guys before you put the pieces on. <clears throat> show you what I mean. So I haven't put that together yet. But if I can get these situated... So oh, it's a little, little difficult getting all that lined up. This guy, this guy over there. There we go. Now the next kind of difficult part. Make sure those. Yeah, you want to turn these rings. Oh, that fat part is. Uh, Now the next difficult part is we've got four of these to position inside of here before uh, before we put this grid on and the holes at the top. So these square holes are going to hold the nuts in. You'll see what I mean in a second. So 
So do the best you can. And you can use a screw to kind of position them. There. See how they hold that in there? It's pretty cool. All right. So that went together great. I'm going to take these two shorter ones. And these look to be inch and quarter. They're going to go through here. Barely, they, they barely reach, but it's perfect. Don't cinch them down too tight yet. You kind of want to tighten these evenly. And then the long one's going to go all the way back through here, like that. If you can see that okay. Yeah. There we go. So they're in there, ready to go when we're ready. So theoretically, we could mount our bars. There you go. Now the bars might have a little play in here, and that's okay because, whoops, I forgot. <clears throat> Gotta get these pieces in. But they might have a little play, but we're gonna squeeze them down with these guys. Feel it pinching that down, which is good. Okay. Now, by the way, this guy right here is going to hold a screw like that that's going to reach down into the base and trigger the Z end stop. Now, we don't have, uh, this isn't uh, something we've designed to be able to be uh, bolted together, you're going to glue this. So get a little wood glue, just put a piece of tape around there, lots of glue, let that set overnight. 